Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey everyone, this is Rachel. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to talk about a road rage incident that occurred last week where a little 18 year old girl by the name of Bianca Roberson was killed. Well, the recent information on that story is that the driver that shot her has turned himself in. Now, let me just backtrack on the story. So about a week or so ago, um, two cars were on the highway and they were trying to merge into the same lane. And one of the drivers got upset, namely this guy, and took out a gun and shot at the other driver, who was this 18-year-old young girl. He shot her in the head. Her car veered off the highway and slammed into a tree, and she was pronounced dead on the scene. Now, surveillance cameras from the highway showed the two cars, and um, it showed a red pickup truck. So there was, um, you know, an APB put out on that driver, you know, asking him to turn himself in and all of that. And he did turn himself in at 2 a.m. I believe it was Saturday. And now he's in custody. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this young girl. Um, as I mentioned, she was only 18 years old. She had recently graduated from high school back in June, um, and um, she was on her way to college. Right before this incident happened, she was with her mother and I believe her grandmother shopping for clothes for college. You know, excited about going away to college in the next few weeks, and now she's dead over a senseless, you know, act on a highway. This man, this guy that shot her was so upset that, you know, whatever happened on the freeway when they were trying to merge into this, this lane, that his only thing to do in his head was to shoot at the other driver, taking the life of this young girl. Y'all, when I heard this story, it broke my heart for her family because this young girl was at a point in her life where she had her whole life ahead of her. You know, when they're on their way to college and they're they're out buying all the stuff for their dorm room and the clothes and, you know, paying college, you know, fees and tuition and all of that. You can only imagine at night when she was in her room and she was dreaming about going away to college and living in the dorms and wondering what it was going to be like to be away from home for the first time. You know, she had a lot to to look forward to and a lot to live for. And then this asshole comes along and takes her life. All for a spot on the highway. This is the world that we live in. I keep using those words because I've never seen violence to this level in America, just, you know, senseless violence, you know? And yes, this guy has turned himself in. He's been charged with murder along with some other charges, but I'm wondering, you know, he is white. Will they try to give him some sort of pass because he turned himself in? Will she get the justice that she so rightly deserves? Now, they said that when they went to his house, they found a gun that matches the bullet that was found in this young girl's head. They also found a red pickup truck. All of this matches, you know, with what they know of the crime so far. You know, the, the video shows that it was a red pickup truck. They know the type of gun that killed her. So it all matches. But what I'm worried about is because they say that he did purchase this gun legally, 
he did have a permit to carry it, he did turn himself in, will they kind of go easy on him? You know, if the situation was flipped and the shooter was black and it was a little white girl that was shot that was on her way to college, that man, that black man, will probably be under the jail by now, you know? I, I just got a feeling on this that um, it may not go the way that we want. Now, because he turned himself in, he's admitting guilt. And because they did recover the weapon and, you know, the red truck was there, he has admitted some level of guilt, as I said. But sometimes, you know, when they get to looking at their record and if they don't have a record, you know, they'll kind of go light on, on them. I, I just, I hope for that family that they get justice because can you imagine what they're feeling right now? They were all set in about a month for her to go away to college. And with all the hopes and dreams that come with that, and instead they are burying their child. One of her family members said that it feels, it felt like they had just, you know, attended her graduation and all the kids were happy and excited about graduating and this next chapter in their lives and she can't believe that in Bianca's case, you know, that next chapter will be at a funeral home. I, I don't know y'all. If this was my child, I would be beyond distraught to think that she had just left the mall buying clothes for college. You know, I could just imagine what was going through her head, you know, thinking about, like I said, her college dorm, and then to be on that freeway with that idiot that shot her, realize this man, you know, was violent. You know, did she see him point the gun at her? Was she trying to get away? You know, did she not even know anything? You know, did she just feel that bullet hit her? And, you know, the car veer off the highway and hit that tree. Did she even know that she was hit? You know, I, I pray that this baby did not suffer. I pray that when that bullet entered that baby's body, she was gone instantly and that she didn't feel any pain by the time that car had hit that tree. You know, can you imagine the call that the police made to her house to inform her parents that their daughter was dead? Can you imagine the disbelief that they felt and the, the absolute horror of how she died? It, it, it breaks my heart. And I hope, like I said, that it was instant for her, that she didn't hit that tree and lay there for a second in pain. I, I just hope that it was over quick. And in this asshole's case, I hope they throw the book at him. I hope that he gets the maximum amount of time because this little girl was only 18 years old. She had about 70, 80 years to live. So they should start there with his sentencing, at least give him 70 years to life for the life that he took, this promising young woman. I, I just, I feel so sorry for her family. With that, y'all, this is the end of the video. Leave your comments down in the comment section. Um, this one, it hurts, y'all. It hurts in a, in a place in my heart that every mother knows, every father knows, every family member knows. When you, when you really think of the details of this case, um, it can't do anything but hurt you to your core. And with that, everyone, thanks as always for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye now.